Hi friends, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another Kiddo Craft. Today I'm going to show you how to make cold porcelain or air dry clay. So this craft was suggested to me by a viewer in the comment section and I'd never heard of cold porcelain before. And it's a really beautiful clay that requires no baking to dry and it's similar to polymer clay. It's a really simple recipe using ingredients that you can readily find. So let's go ahead and make it! Okay, so into a microwave safe bowl you're going to pour one bottle of white glue. Next you're going to add one tablespoon of lemon juice or you can do what I did and add one tablespoon of vinegar as a substitute. Next add one tablespoon of vegetable oil. And finally one half cup of cornstarch, which is also known as corn flour. Mix everything really well. Next we're going to cook the mixture in the microwave and we're going to do it for 15 second intervals. And make sure you stir it in between each interval. I did this about three or four times, and you want your dough to look something like this. You want a wet, shaggy dough. At this point, you're going to turn out your hot dough onto a surface. And you can use lotion or petroleum jelly on your hands to kind of lubricate it so the dough won't stick. Then sprinkle your surface with a little bit of cornstarch, and then you're going to knead the dough, adding a little bit of cornstarch as you knead it, until it forms a nice, smooth dough. You'll know when the clay is at the right consistency, when it doesn't stick to your hands, and when you pull it apart, it forms a nice teardrop shape. This is optional, but I recommend it if you're using vinegar like I am. Add a few drops of peppermint essential oil. The vinegar has a really strong smell, and the peppermint really kind of helps to mask it. Finally, we're going to wrap the dough in some plastic wrap, and then put it in an airtight container, and let it rest for 24 hours. This resting period is really important, and it makes for a really supple, soft dough. So this is what the dough looks like after 24 hours. It's nice and soft, it's no longer sticky, and it forms a really lovely teardrop shape. So at this point, if you want to color it, there are lots of options. You can add a little bit of watercolor, acrylic paint, even food coloring, whatever you like. In my case, I'm using some really strongly pigmented acrylic paint, but use whatever you have. So you can use this as an opportunity to teach your kids a little bit about color theory by making a red, yellow, and blue clay. And then you can mix a bit of blue and yellow to make green. And red and yellow to make orange. And red and blue to make purple. Go, primary to secondary colors. So there are endless possibilities to use this clay, but my son and I end up using it to make some colorful rubble and pipes for his little trucks, and we had a ball. And he's still playing with them today. I should also mention that once the clay dries, it dries a little bit darker than the original color. Alright, enjoy! And if you end up making this, be sure to share it with me on social media because I want to see your creations. And I hope you guys like that one. Uh, let me know if you end up trying it, and don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. I'll go make something. Bye.